Hi, I'm Alex, host of The Early Show with Alex. I'm an intergalactic ambassador of care. This is my ship. Through time and space, through space and time, I come to your planet to learn all about your little humans and find out how to care for them. Why are they sleeping? Why are they crying? Why are they laughing? What are they doing? Why is it looking at me that way? In the most important cultural scientific hub of the universe, New Mexico. Take it away, ship. Not that far away. Come back, come back, ship. Right there, oh, that's it, perfect. In the earliest time slot possible, which is this one, because this is the early show. Who's me? Alex. It's so early. Ship, is everything ready? Quest Glove, this is your big moment. I love that song. It's inspiring. It makes me want to sing. I will... Quest Glove? Quest Glove? Oh, you went away. That makes me sad. Oh, you're right, Chip. It's time to start the show. Please beam in our next guest, Amy. Amy! Welcome to the early show with Alex. That's me, Alex. Hi, Alex. It's nice to meet you. I'm really excited to be here. You're a pre-K teacher and a librarian, mm -hmm. and you've met thousands of little humans mm -hmm. and experienced hundreds of millions of billions of little feelings. Oh, millions. I've experienced the spectrum of emotions with young children, for oh. sure. You know, on my planet, we just show our feelings with our colors of our hearts. Wow. Yeah. That's such a superpower. Well, it sounds a little more complicated for humans. Mm-hmm. We can't see our feelings. Oh. And babies aren't born knowing how to explain what feeling they're having and what to do with that. So we can definitely notice how people are acting, especially young children. Sometimes our behaviors reflect how they might be feeling on the inside. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Some strategies as the adult caregiver, I would suggest, number one, identify the feeling. Mm -hmm. Feelings happen inside of our body. So I might show a child, I'm feeling really angry and my face is hot. Or, oh, I'm uncomfortable and my tummy's kind of gurgling and making noises. Mm -hmm. So identifying that you're having it and what it feels like in your body is really important. Mm -hmm. The second thing I like to do is give it a name, and that teaches the child and the adult, because we all need practice at this. Sure. Gives the child the vocabulary to connect to that feeling. And lastly, managing the feeling, and that could be different for every child and every adult. This works for adults too. We all need practice identifying what we're feeling, naming it, and then managing the feeling. Sounds important. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Amy. Ship wants to connect us to your friend, Norman, from the school. I love Norman. Excellent. Yeah, Norman is very perceptive about feelings, and he gets kids to talk about them so easily. Oh, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Ship, Ship, connect us to Norman. Hi, Alex. I'm Judas. I'm at my school. <clears throat> and who am I? And this is my friend, Mr. Newman. I'm Mr. Norman. Do you ever have feelings? Yeah. When you get really, really excited? Uh, what does that look like? I mean, just... <laughs> I'm to do it <laughs> When you feel really mad, what is that like? I mean this. Mm. Oh, you make noises and your face gets mad. How do you calm your body down? Oh, breathing again. Has anyone ever felt sad that you loved? Yeah. Who is that? My sister and my brother. What do you do if you see someone that you love feeling sad? Um, I just do this. Oh, a little pet pet. Oh, it's so nice, Jude. Thank you. <sighs> little humans do have a lot of feelings. Amy, what are some other ways we can help little ones understand their feelings? Another really good thing to do with children and learn about feelings is books. Oh. 
Books and play are great strategies to talk about feelings and incorporate the vocabulary when you're not having big feelings. Well, I was hoping, as a librarian, you could give us a few recommendations of books that can help us learn how to manage our emotions. I will make you a list. I would love to do that. Oh, great. And I'll put that list on my website. Yeah, actually, though, Quest Club's gonna do it. <laughs> Quest Club takes care of all my coding. Delegate. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about big humans, caregivers? What about you, Amy? What do you do when you have big, big feelings? Everyone's different, but for me, I like to close my eyes and escape somewhere else. Ooh. Maybe the beach, and I can feel the sand in my toes, breathe in the sea air, and then I feel calm. Wow. And I'm able to help a child who has big feelings. I can't really help when I'm escalated and feeling a lot of static and nerves in my own body. In fact, sometimes when the adults are heightened and we have big feelings, we say and do things we don't mean with children. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to say sorry. I was frustrated. I didn't mean to yell at you. And next time I'm going to try to calm down and talk about it with you. So saying sorry is a good thing? It is. So maybe. Quest Glove could say sorry for disappearing on me all the time. <laughs> oh, oh, Ship says it's sorry because we're almost out of time, Amy. Mm, no, I'm I don't sorry. want to. Yeah, you have so much to share. We could talk forever. Well, before I go, can I touch your heart? My heart? Of course. Come on over. Okay. Yeah. So I can just touch it? Yeah, go ahead. <gasps> oh. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's my favorite so one. so cool, Alex. Yeah, that one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's my going to sleep one. Try again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one is just for giggles. Can't you do this? No. Nope. Do you ever touch your heart and see if the colors change? Can't see it, just feel it. Oh, good. Well, at least you can feel it. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. How'd that feel? I feel warm, fuzzy feelings because I'm with you. Yeah. Classic. <laughs>